What's good YouTube? It's your boy Journey back at it again with another tip video and since my last tip video about 335 odd got so much love I had no choice but to bring another one out and this one's coming on the offensive side where I feel like this is the best play in Madden 24 by a long shot and it's gonna be coming from the New York Jets playbook and the reason why I think it is the best offensive play is because it has an unstoppable route. It's just as simple as that. There's no adjustment that you could put out there to really stop it. Uh, man, zone, uh, blitz, it doesn't matter. Cover two, cover three, cover four. It beats everything. And there's ways to like you know contain it, but there's also counters to the way they can contain it. So I'm gonna show you guys the counters, I'm gonna show you guys the main play, and I'm gonna show you guys everything about it. So it's coming from the bus strong offset uh, set and uh, it's coming from the New York Jets playbook. So the reason I have the Chiefs is, as you guys know, Patrick Mahomes has that hot route master, which basically means he has a, additional hot routes that quarterbacks don't have. He could put corner routes, he could put post routes, he could put crossers, he could put it on everybody, and that's what makes this offense complete. And in Mutt, you have hot route master, uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to run it with that. So we're going to go 3-4 under. We could try... Let's see, cover, we could try cover three first. We could try cover three first. And that's the best thing you could do versus it, I guess. But all you gotta do is just put a drag on the solo side. Make sure if your bunch is on the right, make sure you're on the left hash mark. If your bunch is on the left, make sure you're on the right hash mark. You wanna be, you wanna make sure your bunch side is on the wide side. Give yourself as much space as possible to complete the corner out. So what you're gonna see, that corner out got bagged or bumped a little bit, but you're gonna see that the corner is going to go deep. It's not going to be able to get stopped. So we're going to do it again. See, look at this. That's usually how it looks. And look how open it is. I, I jerked off for no reason. But that's basically what's going to happen. I'm going to show you guys the replay. And always you have the backside drag to come in. But look. Damn, there it goes. As you can tell, this fade is pushing that third back where it allows this corner off to get wide open. So cover three does not stop it. I'm gonna make sure I can show you guys um, how it looks versus cover four. Look at this. Look at uh, Jalen Ramsey, I put him in a cover four zone. I put him in that quarter. I didn't put him on a third, I put him in a quarter. Uh, so you guys can see that it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go. That's a quarter, and look at that. You can still throw it on the quarter. It doesn't matter what zone they put out there. A third, a half, a quarter. That corner out will get open. Uh, a lot of people are going to start uh, putting 30 flats. If you guys don't know what a 30 flat is, you go on defense, and you put a 30 zone drop flat. And basically what that does is if you back them up and, uh, uh, and you put them in a 30, it does its best versus deep corner routes like flood. So a lot of people like the baseline, make sure he's like here. And then what you're gonna see is that uh, this corner out, it gets bagged just like that. That's usually how it looks. That corner out's not gonna get open. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a replay on why that happens. So basically he's backed up. Look at Jalen Ramsey, he's just waiting for it. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people just like to spam this to make sure you can't throw deep corner outs. But I'm going to show you guys the counter to it. Um, as you can tell, look, the corner does not get over the flat and it's not throwable. So you, you're you forcing your opponent to do that and then have like five purples underneath. So what you're going to see what I start doing is I start corner routing the tight end, like the actual hot route master. Like it's going to look like this right here. And then I also corner out the RB guy and then I table out the running back. So what you see right here is a corner out short, a deep corner out, and then a table route underneath the short corner out. So what this does is it, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense, on the sidelines. It's like not really much you can do. You're going to see, look, you're going to see Jalen Ramsey. He won't be able to stop that if I didn't get poor accuracy. We're going to do it again. Make something like this. I have a 35. You're going to see. Look at Jalen Ramsey, he's in a 30. You can throw it just like that. I'm gonna show you guys a replay on why that worked. Uh, basically, it's simple. The tight end corner out that you could put apprentice to, that little tight end apprentice, 
It's a 15 yard post route. It gets underneath 30 yard flats. It's very simple. If you start seeing them put this zone, if you start seeing this like cornerback really drop back and just strafe and strafe and strafe away for the corner out, this is all you gotta do. You gotta put a short tight end corner and then uh, you have that deep RB corner wide open, just like that. So it's, it, ma it makes the cornerback have to choose which one do they wanna guard. And you just make the read, very simple. And then on the left side, you, you just have something back size, very easy. You can just throw it. Look how much space you'll have, boom. So we're gonna do it again. Because I'm basically showing you how to stop it and also how to counter how people stop it. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to show you guys it's not fluke. And boom, just like that. Not going to be able to stop it. They're not going to be able to stop it. Uh, corner routes are going to be open all day. And then you're going to start forcing them to, when they start seeing that, you're going to start forcing them to put down their zone drops a little bit. Okay, okay you're doing the little short tight end corner route. Let's do this. Let's put a 20 flat. Let's see how that looks. And what, what, what they're going to realize, they're going to realize very soon is this the 20 is not enough to guard the RB corner out. So they ha it's hard to you know defend both corner outs. One goes deep, one goes short. There's not a zone drop that is able to stop both of them. There you go. Look at that. You can tell the difference between a 20 and a 30. As you can see, I will not be able to throw that tight end corner, but I can re I can make a read where the RB corner is going to be wide open to the sideline. So that double corner out is going to be the main reason why it's going to be so hard to play defense on this. Do it again. He gets bumped. They don't have a purple. You can throw the taper out. And then you also have that backside drag uh, that's coming around. Let's, let's do it. Just put it out there. Put it out there. So if they want to guard this tight end corner out like this, you have this drag underneath. Boom, just like that. It's very simple. It beats zone. Like zone has absolutely no chance for us to. Uh, we're gonna try man to man. Let's go uh, cover one. Boom, just like this. All right. We're gonna run flood. You're gonna realize this actually has no chance. So we're gonna go. Okay, boom, just like that. Bad throw, usually get better throws than that, but that's usually how it looks versus man. So again, he gets bumped. Sometimes when he gets bumped, he doesn't get open, but he did get open right there. You know, he dropped it, but what I would do if I was y'all, I, I would go to practice mode and I would pay attention how to throw corner outs, get the best animations and all that. Spam it, spam it, spam it. So we're gonna go. But again, he gets bumped again. It's trash. Just like that. So, as you can tell, it beats man. It beats zone. Uh, another thing that a lot of people don't know about this play, because I'm pretty sure someone's definitely ran it on you before. Uh, on the short side, this, is how, this has always been wide side. I'm going to show you guys on the short side what happens versus cover two. So, what I like to do versus cover two, when you start seeing your opponent, you know, those two high safeties, just cover two, just leaving them on an island. What I like doing is I like streaking RB and then putting a table on the running back. And the reason I do this is this RB streak that I'm on right now, he's going to make sure the deep half goes inside. You know what I'm saying? That deep half on the top, make sure he goes more to the middle of the field and that allows this fade to get wide open. You're going to see it right here. Just pass it to the outside, and you just, it, for the most part, it's usually a touchdown. If this is someone faster, it's a touchdown. I just didn't fix everything, uh, like all of my players. We're going to try it again. I'm going to go like that. Uh, I wish he was faster. If that was like Hardman or something, if that was a 99 speed receiver, oh my god, that's a, that's an easy touchdown. But a lot of people, uh, when they do that, they do get pressured, you know what I'm saying, because you are sending out five people. And then sometimes you could just do this if you want to block somebody. Just a little tight end streak. If you want to block someone just to make sure you don't get hollered at. You go like that. Like that. I'm telling you, it could be a touchdown if that's someone faster. But that's what you have to see. So if they're in cover two, you can flip to the short side. Uh, put the bunch on the short side and have two streaks. And what that's going to do is just going to leave this wide open. So 
you guys want touchdowns all day, short side versus cover two, and then you also have that corner out coming. That will be every coverage. So it, that's that. Um, uh, another thing that I forgot to add, um, you if they do start running a lot of man, uh, that you can't really just have one option. I would low-key just put RB on a zig route. So basically, it gives you another chance of someone else getting open. So it's like this and this. So you have that little zig route that's going to help you have more options versus man and man So if you start seeing people uh, spam man or spam cover two, you have all these counters to it. Just run a little zig route. Sometimes even a, a short tight end corner like this works. I mean, everything got bumped. I don't know why everything's getting bumped right now, but the tight end short corner route gets, gets open, the deep corner route gets open, the zig gets open, the dig gets open, even a backside drag will, will get open. And also, if you want, if they're not showing any blitz, if they're not showing a blitz at all, you can um, do something like this. You can put the running back on an angle route, you can put the zig, and then you're going to see you have options. So you have the running back angle, you have the zig route, you have the tight end corner, so you have options. Uh, that's if they don't have any blitz threat and you can just send out five people. I'll show you guys some replay. So look at RB. He gets open, little zig route. Then you have the angle route, boom. And then you also have the tight end corner. You can just throw it to the sideline and it'll be a complete. So you have all these options to get open. You just have to know what play that they're calling on defense. If they mix it up, they mix it up. But, you know, you got to play the mind game with them. So uh, the, I feel like this is the greatest play in the game by far. This is the play that I've called the most. And I've used it against pros. I've used it against bots. I've used it against, you know, mid-level players. They do not know how to stop it. So I'm just spamming it on them. I've been spamming it for the past six months. They still don't know how to stop it. So I'm pretty sure you guys can too. Uh, make the read and everything will be easy. Hey, make sure if you guys want another tip video, 100 likes once again, and we will bring another tip video because I've been getting a lot of support from that other tip video uh, about 35-odd, uh, so I got to bring this one here too. So 100 likes, make sure to hit that subscription, um, make sure to comment, hit the like button, all that, all that good stuff. But appreciate you guys. Hopefully, you guys, this helps for you guys. And uh, I'm out until next time. I love you. Peace.